Hello everyone, so it's Peter again from Chenny Dance and MCH Travel and this is the next video with Ezekiel from Sprout Show College in Thank you Vancouver. very much, thank you very awesome. much. Awesome, right, so last, in last video we talked about the business faculty and the business yes. programs, mm -hmm. but today we're gonna talk about early childhood education. Correct. Right, which I don't know about much yet, Okay. right, but um, I'm really excited about it. That's why I'm here. Because um, um, what I want to do, I want to focus on like these, I would say, different mm -hmm. programs, mm -hmm. like a bit rare for international students. Right. But the thing is, there is just so much opportunity, not just in business and hospitality industry yes. in Vancouver and in Canada, but mm -hmm. but in like many other industries, such as yeah. early childhood education. And next time we'll touch, uh, I would say, healthcare and like mm -hmm. nursing and these programs. Yes. And you also told me last week that we had to talk about this program because Sprocho is kind of flexible and you know adjust to the current market right, of what right. is right now needed in uh, in BC. And one of those uh, jobs is early childhood. Yep. So, yep. well, I'm um, first of all thank you again, <laughs> thank you again to to the people, your your audience, everybody in the other side of the world listening and 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 checking on these uh, videos. Good job. Uh, thank you, uh, Canadians. Thank you, MCH. And uh, also, I'm very happy to see that you're all sprout show today. Thank of course you. I am. So, I love it. So, um, well, <laughs> yes, I think that uh, just landing the idea of early childhood education, as you say, it may be a little bit uh, atypical for, for certain markets. But I will also say that uh, others have been developing early childhood education programs uh, steadily and strongly where it became their prime uh, choice to come uh, for mm -hmm. international education. Um, Sprout Shaw, since 1903, more than 100 years in the province, uh, has been uh, very uh, established and, uh, and, and its reputation for people uh, or qualified graduates in this niche market, early childhood education. Actually, some of the uh, government offices that, uh, like, uh, that help um, new Canadians, new immigrants to find jobs and so, we've been finding that they refer them to Sprout Shaw College which is an honor, right? Uh, other than that, I will also like to emphasize that for these early childhood education programs, because we have many different options, uh, we also have to think of what will be the reason I will study that, right? Yes. What, what's, the, what's my job opportunity? Yeah, maybe let, let's talk about it first. Sure. So what, what actually early child education means in terms of work and opportunities. Exactly. In Canada, right? Because at the end of the day, if you're abroad and you don't really understand what's going on here, why would I do that? Mm. And there are some countries where maybe early childhood education is not necessarily something that you study, right? So there's many variations that can make it a little complicated for uh, international students to understand. But in Canada, in North America, but uh, here in Canada, you don't just don't empirically take care of kids. You have to study yes. to take care of kids. Uh, maybe in other countries, uh, kids are go to aunt and auntie uh, or with the grandma, but here to be responsible of a kid means education. And when I say education, it's not only like, because sometimes we simplify the idea of, of early childhood education, like, oh, well, taking care of kids, I can do that. Like babysitting. Babysitting. Yeah. But uh, those pro these programs are monitored by, 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 the, by federal uh, institutions uh, from Canada to, to, to give the, the required support for quality uh, education and, and uh, well-being of, of kids, right? The programs uh, have a, a first aid uh, component, eat safe components, allergy reactions, a lot of things that may happen when you have a kid at home and how, what would you do at that moment, right? Mm. And of course, uh, kids with special needs, um, different age gaps because also, well, you have to uh, 
focus or teach kids uh, depending on their age, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, that being said, in the province of British Columbia, where we are, uh, there is uh, this phenomenon happening uh, now where, um, well, immigration is growing and will continue to grow. And uh, there is just this number of people to take care of kids. Yeah. So there is a deficit. So just by the natural uh, flow of newcomers, new families with kids, and the receptive uh, population here in Vancouver or in BC doesn't, doesn't has the number. Mm. So who's taking care of those kids, yeah. right? So this uh, demand in the, in the requirement or, or demand for people to take care of kids uh, and, and not being able to supply it uh, brought the city, the province, to open different mm. opportunities for, for international students to come and get their credentials in early childhood education so that they can work here in this industry, which is not babysitting. You're gonna yes. be a professional mm. of uh, early childhood yeah. education. Maybe working with a family, why not? Mm. But maybe working in a kindergarten, maybe working in a daycare, uh, maybe uh, working in uh, community centers or private centers like the YMCA, uh, things like that. Uh, and again, different mm. programs that we have in our portfolio where you can just do maybe, again, people coming from abroad want to do uh, come to Canada, and I've been mentioning this before in other of our uh, programs, yeah. uh, where people come on a gap year, people come in a, tr a taking advantage of their working holiday visa option, but afterwards, why not to take like an early childhood education assistant program? So just something very uh, uh, simple to get started with. Mm. Maybe you're not still sure if you like it or not, or if that's for you. But then you can just continue to add on. Like if it was a Lego, Lego part, right? Yeah. You're adding on mm -hmm. extensions on, of the program to, to, to turn it into like the overall diploma. Yeah. So you can start with like, uh, or the first la layer will be uh, early childhood education assistant yeah and then you just add on some courses so and how long is that program this is assistant. five months five months yeah. yeah and then to turn it into the early childhood education basic diploma so like mm -hmm. the credential this will be another 10 um sorry no that will be another six months yeah so that's kind of and almost a year you also get um you know, you know like higher and higher qualifications qualification which enables you to work uh with first more kids and yes. also uh, different ages right yes. so so what's the first yeah between layer? the mm. yes between the assistant and then you have the diploma and then you have the different options where you start getting a little more involved into like again uh, different credentials uh, chill um, infant and toddlers uh, module children with special needs uh, and even to turn it into the the, the diploma you can uh, have diploma with Montessori uh, designation. Mm. Uh, maybe you are in your home country and you studied uh, to uh, pedagogy, yes, right, yes. in the university. That's your major. Mm. So for these people, they can, we can help them to uh, apply to certify their credentials. And instead of doing all this, they can start with uh, early childhood education post diploma yeah so it's like a like a post grad mm. right so we can also help uh, to do so mm. now yes as you mentioned depending on where you are is the like like a timetable put it that way of the number of kids that you're uh, entitled uh, to take care of and the ages so it runs from 5 years to to 8 years when you're an assistant, you're just assisting, yes. so you cannot just take care of kids, but you're assisting someone else. But then it starts like playing with that, and also not only the age, but the number of kids. Mm -hmm. Where at the top notch, you will be taking care of eight kids uh, by yourself, right? And uh, or in the, if you're working in a daycare, well, you take care of eight, you take care of eight, and the other one take care of another eight, and so 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 on.
Mm -hmm. uh, this is not only exclusive for females, because sometimes uh, that's also come across as a, it's a misconception. Uh, early childhood education is a profession that the males and females can, can, can be part of. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds great, and because uh, I also think it's a great opportunity for, for someone, not just who decides now that wants to work with kids, but maybe studied, as you said, like pedagogy or, mm -hmm. you know, work with kids or at the schools, daycares, kindergartens, back home, and they invested all these years in the education and work, work experience, and now maybe they thinking about going abroad, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's a great chance to keep working in that industry, even in a uh, in different country, and taking advantage of these uh, this opportunity with uh, with the high demand, or maybe if someone who who's done au pair right. abroad, why not in the states, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, true, and or it has the experience, loves working with kids, true. So why not to use that experience, and uh, here in Canada. Yeah, it's actually a very good point you're mentioning to just like uh, kind of challenge yourself. Like maybe you are an au pair uh, somewhere in the world. Maybe you already used your gap year, your, your working holiday mm. visa, and you love kids. Why not to come here and get a, uh, to become professional? Uh, taking care of kids uh, will open a lot of opportunities. It will open a lot of opportunities to, uh, to land a job here in Canada. As what I said before, there is a I don't want to use the word crisis because crisis has a little <laughs> bit of a negative connotation, yeah. but there is a challenge that the province has to mm. fulfill the needs. Mm. So there is a lot of opportunities to land a job there. And if you want to go back to your country right after you study, good for you. We all know that Canada uh, globally is recognized as one of the number one destinations in education. And I'm not going to be surprised that if uh, you go back to whatever your country, of origin and showing credentials from Canada will definitely be a very good asset in yes. your education. Um, yeah, so, so we <clears throat> mentioned that um, British Columbia, uh, there's a high demand yes. for, um, for uh, early childhood educators mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, the government created or the province created this program that supports that supports uh, people interested in this industry. So how, the, how does it work? I see. Uh, well, yes, uh, there is this, uh, well, as you know, like, uh, again, Canada as a land of immigrants and, uh, and the structure of uh, Canada giving an opportunity for international students to come. Uh, there are uh, different programs that the government has, uh, uh, well, launched uh, lately to, well, uh, in the effort of, of covering the demand for early childhood educators. So international students can come study these and there is a, a very high chance to, to land a job, therefore a high chance to apply for these different programs that the government is offering to extend your time in Canada or why not uh, try to find your ways if Canada uh, feels like the place you want to stay. Mm. Uh, all of these, I will definitely recommend your audience to just check on the immigration website for, yeah. the, for the government of Canada. Mm. So that one, just go into uh, www.cic.gc.ca, yeah. which is the mm. official uh, Immigration Canada website. Yeah. You can check that out. And uh, definitely, well, as I know, the Canadians and MCH can always refer your audience if they're yes. interested in that to talk to an immigration lawyer mm. or a consultant. Yeah, and it could, the other thing is uh, these programs and the details kind of change throughout the year as well, mm -hmm. right? So it's maybe better to. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you so much. Thank it was, you. Uh, really, that was really good. And yeah, so for my, more information, I'm going to paste links below the video about our website, Sprocho website. And if you have any questions, you can message me, email me, email me or uh, check out some more videos or articles and other content. And um, we'll see you, uh, Ezekiel, at the next video. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you very much, Canadians. And thank you very much, MCH. Awesome. Thanks. Thank and see you. Bye-bye. Thank you.